Hello, welcome pen friends. Uh, this is the final segment of my uh, recap of the Diamine Ink Vent 2023, the purple edition. And, and it's just the last five days, but we'll probably end up flipping back a little bit just as I uh, <laughs> kind of discuss some of these other ones. So we had uh, Diamine Tranquility, this beautiful chameleon ink. This actually was my favorite from these five days. And then we had um, Diamine Tinsel, which is a shimmer, kind of a red shimmer. Everybody got real excited about this one too, I think. Or anybody who was waiting for a red, anyway. And then um, this, to me, this is a standard ink, Diamine Fireside Snug. It's, to me, like a burnt orange. Very pretty. Very nice. And then, oh, this, this isn't a very good tile, but I sent the better one over for the website. This is Diamine Sugar Snap shimmer ink and that's that's gorgeous actually when i first saw it i wasn't sure i was going to like it in a nib but it ended up pretty on the page and we'll get in in there in a minute and then ta-da the final uh you know <laughs> the final day was diamine raise a glass and they did not label the bottle but clearly there's shimmer in it so it has you have to know to shake it up and then it looks like there's sheen it looks like there's everything it's probably a chameleon but i'm not sure I, I'm not too hung up on that. It's very dark, though. <laughs> very dark purple. Very pretty. So let's hop into the ink journal. And I'll keep these handy, kind of in order, so we can refer back to them. Um, and again, this is 68 GSM Tomori River paper. Uh, and it's a Goulet notebook, but I bought the ink vent from Atlas Stationers, so... Let's see if we can get this <laughs> anywhere near good here. I've, I've got a situation with my glasses, but I'll see if I can work that out. Okay, so here we are. I made a little mistake down here. I picked up the wrong pen, so I was writing in this segment. I probably should put some kind of a sticker over it, but we'll just try to remember. Just this segment, I was writing with uh, Van Diemen's Marilyn, and I thought, wait a minute, that's pink, not purple. But all the rest of it is the way it's supposed to be. Um, I used... Well, actually, this ink inspired me to ink up the Lamy Dark Lilac with the uh, Tranquility ink. And I really like this one. I like this ink a lot. I'm, I, the color is pretty. It's not too super dark. It's got all that gorgeous shimmer. Um, it's a chameleon, so lots more probably to learn about that. Let's see. I, I'm looking at that one right there. Woo! It's so shiny. Um, so I really enjoyed that. Let's see, I don't know what day that was. Oh, we were going to HEB for our final grocery, for our, our beef pot roast, and they did come out really good. So <laughs> thank goodness. Um, so anyway, there's the chromatography. <laughs> like I said, ignore that pink part because I just made a mistake. I, I picked it up and started writing about how much I'd gotten done, and I picked up the wrong safari probably or the wrong all-star. There we go. Uh, so gorgeous and I think but don't quote me just yet because I didn't I didn't stop to check but they were having kind of a runoff and Tranquility was in the final uh, runoff for Atlas for which one was going to win and, and I think it was winning but I'm not sure so I'll have to look back and see if it ended up taking the top honors there in their little poll on Instagram <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, that was Tranquility. Um, and then next up was Tinsel, Diamine Tinsel, a very pretty red uh, with, oh gosh, it looks like pink shimmer and it's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. And this didn't say chameleon, so they're just labeling it as shimmer. But I love the way the water brush uh, lifted that. Let's see, I didn't even pay attention over here. Yeah, this wasn't as dramatic. This was ended up, it looked really nice in the, in the broad um, nib, though, the Tranquility. But as far as getting a dramatic lift on the water brush, not so much, but it's very lovely. It, it goes lighter versus, like, over here, this, this just, of course, it goes lighter, but it has a lot of saturation, so it was really pretty. And this one I used the Sailor uh, Food A nib, and I think I also used the 1.1 stub right here. Two days till Christmas. I just can't believe how fast this month is going. It's almost over. Um, this is the 27th as I'm video, you know, shooting this video. Um, it was warm that day. It's a little cooler today. 
Red, another up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the cats have been getting me up really early. I don't know. It's a conspiracy because Coco, uh, my the four-year-old cat, it seems to take turns with Toby, the two-year-old, and I don't know what they're doing. I, I, I guess they're coordinating who's going to wake me up. <laughs> anyway, it's a joy mostly. <laughs> okay, so next up is Diamine Fireside Snug, which I'm always kind of breathe a sigh of relief when it's a standard ink because you're having to agitate every single time the little bottle and the pen itself, but not with this one. And I really like this. It actually inspired me to do a tiny bit of my old, uh, you know, flames that I used to like to do. Um, I put it in the Sailor Hokoro Food Aid nib and even the splatters showed a dramatic dark and light, you know, it goes from very light orange to a, just a really dark with some sheen in the splatters anyway. I'm not seeing too much. I'm seeing a lot of shading in this one though. It was pretty. I would, I could write with that. I could really enjoy that. In fact, I think I might have noted that this is one that almost got me pulling out tiles. It's another one of those where I thought, oh, I got to get all my... Because I'm thinking like there's a Robert Oster, Burned Orange. There's several in this category I really like. So I think that I wouldn't have trouble in my own collection finding plenty of this kind of ink. But still, it's, it's very pretty. Okay, then next up, the 24th, was this green called Sugar Snap. And it's a... What is it? Uh-oh, I didn't write it down. So let's go back over here. Oh, it's just a shimmer. Okay. But I usually, I meant to label it here. So it is a, it's not labeled chameleon, it's labeled shimmer, and it's gorgeous. It, it, you can see it has plenty of readability. Oh, <laughs> help. Okay, I was a little overwhelmed that day. I've written sleep, nutrition, clean up areas. Yeah, it gets messy. It gets messy when you're getting ready for a little dinner party and everything else. So um, here's all that sh good shimmer. Oh my goodness. That almost looks blue. Maybe it is. I don't know. I, my eyes get so confused that I'm really not holding myself to, yet to a real high standard of figuring these things out. I'm, there are people that, that are doing that. And I, I kind of like cheat and go in and see, but I don't make notes off of other people's work. I, I only go by what I was doing because that's not fair. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, we're more about early cat wake up. Oh, my goodness. Just keep going. The mood will change like the weather does. Everything is okay. Okay, I was trying to pep talk myself, and it must have worked because I'm here, and it's the 27th, and I made it through that. Okay, so next up was the very last day, Diamine Raise a Glass. Now, this one, I believe the one I sent to Matt was prettier, but I still got kind of an arc of uh, almost gold sheen right there. I don't know if you can see it, and then a bunch of... of uh, I was going to say glitter, but shimmer. They did not label it, so I have, I don't know, but it's, it, I think on the website we're just indicating whether it's shimmer or not, because the chameleon, uh, if it's shimmer, that's the main thing you need to know, is that you have to agitate it, so. Oh, Toby, hello. He came in. Somebody let him in. <laughs> Coco, did you let Toby in? What a nice brother. Okay, so. Oh, it's such pretty saturation. I was actually at first a little confused because it looks purpler and then it starts to kind of look blue at times, but I can see that it still looks purple, but it has that blurple look to it, kind of a dark, dark, beautiful dark purple. I asked myself if it was drying blue. Well, I, I still see plenty of that purple in it. Isn't that gorgeous? I, can, I think artists would really be happy with that. Huh, that's funny. The talking clock is being very specific. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I said it was fun. The ink event was fun. It was a luxury. And December was great, opening a new ink every 25 days. So, there's. No, I haven't ranked how I feel about these yet. Um, and when we get, when I turn the camera around, I'll tell you a little bit more. But, um, but I think what I'll do right now, before we turn the camera around, is just sort of have this chart available right here underneath. And then we've got all the, the cards. Because I was thinking about picking out a couple of my favorites. Um, 
I know I love Tranquility. And, oh gosh, I mean, so many of these are pretty. Um, huh. Oh my gosh, I just, you know, I like them all, so I probably should have pre-designated some of this. Well, the Bah Humbug, I have to admit, that is gorgeous. It really is. It's nicely saturated and it has all that shimmery goodness. And I was intrigued by how it lifted with the water brush. I love that. Oh, and here's a standard one I liked out of these. The Diamine Velvet Emerald. I really like that. And, and it, you know, if I'm bypassing a bunch of these, it's not that I didn't like them. I just, I, I seldom fall head over heels for a, a shimmer ink. And this one, I would like it if I was an artist, but I don't like it for writing as much. The, it was called Masquerade. I really like this standard uh, Diamine Early Dusk. Um, and I did not like, <laughs> I did not like Fortune's Gold, but it was, it was some people's cup of tea. I know, I saw that on, online. Um, I don't tend to really enjoy the dark, dark ones like these. Um, even though they're pretty and even though I, I think to myself, gee, you know, like I, I got real good um, with the Diamine Nightfall. That looked really nice. I think I had it, but don't quote me, in my little, uh, in this pen. Uh, but we can look back and see. I just don't remember. And if it was, it was the one that I really liked how it looked. Of course, these two are very similar. This was, um, this was a black and this was more of a midnight blue. Um, but I think, like, it comes down to these four, I think, kind of. And that's funny because Bah Humbug, hmm. I really liked Buck's Fizz. Uh, I loved how shimmery that was. It kind of was borderline on, for me on, you know, with my regular standard broad nibs, it didn't necessarily, it wasn't dark dark, but it was readable and pretty. I did like the Cashmere Rose, but I don't see that as really, really totally different than some of the others that I have. Uh, the Jacaranda, I think I liked it so much because I put it in a, a food aid nib. And that was one of the main things I learned from this was how much I like a food aid nib. Let's see where that was. That was, uh, <laughs> that was back a ways. We'll see if it pops out at me. I definitely uh, enjoyed how it looked. Well, silly. You can, oh, these aren't numbered either. Let's, let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Day eight. Okay. I probably should have numbered them. Yeah. I just, you know, that would be pretty light in anything else, but it was looking really nice in the uh, Hong Dian Black Forest Food A with purple pen. Um, looking at it now, it looks lighter than I remember, but, but still it's nice and readable. Shading galore. It's pretty. Yeah. I, I guess that would have to be my number, you know, in the top five for me. That's about as far as I've gone with it. Um, I will share with you that what I've done is create a set, let's see, for myself to keep. Huh, apparently I ran away with it. Let's see if I can find it. Sometimes I wonder why I, <laughs> why I think I have to show everything, but I did, what I did was I made, um, I saved approximately four mils, sometimes it might have been three, of each of the inks for myself. And uh, I have an artist friend that I have uh, uh, emailed this morning to see if she'd like the, the remainder of my ink event for, you know, for next year to use. And so, because, well, when I get face to face with you, I'll explain. I, I was going to do a giveaway, but I, I'm not up to it because I've got other, I've got something else that came up that's uh, much more urgent to deal with. But... I knew that I didn't need all of what was left from the ink vent. And uh, in fact, it was something that I, I thought of later was the only reason I didn't open it and divide it and try to like share it to begin with was because I didn't want to see the inks. But I almost wonder if maybe like if with the right instruction, I might have been able to have manual, you know, shake and draw out the inks and, and do that for me. I don't know though. That's, that seems like a big job for someone. Um, so trying to keep them from myself, I didn't open it up and, and plan on, you know, uh, 
you know, dividing the set. But I know from experience that I only need between three and four mils of an ink. Once I've already gotten it uh, committed to an ink journal, I have a lot of information. And so if I'm crazy about one of the inks, if it lasts, you know, if my uh, enchantment with it, and I think the <laughs> out of the last, I've, this is my third ink vent, and the only ink I, I fell so hard for was uh, Diamine Spiced Apple. It's a shimmer red ink. And so that's the only one where I had been like, um, you know, tempted to get a bottle. But my one of my close pen friends, pen pals, sent me two samples of that ink. So that was wonderful. Thank you, pen friend Kathy. That was just awesome. Um, you know, so I know that all I need is a little because if one of my tiles ends up with a mess, like uh, actually I'll probably redo that one that I showed you, you know, because that's that's the kind of thing I didn't want to send for the website because it apparently the water just seeped back up into the tile. So I'll have enough to keep myself with tiles or with like little, uh, I can dip and write to uh, pen friends. I can, I can still explore the inks a little with the four mils. So, okay, I think it's time to uh, go and change the camera around. That way I can talk to you just a little bit and you know, wish everybody a happy new year and all that. So here we go. There, so that's basically it. Um, I got through the whole ink vent and I've got uh, a nice, you know, spread on each of the colors and I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it right up to the end, you know, the whole thing. Um, but like I said, I did start to think about how, oh, I wish, I just wish that I had, uh, you know, not let it bother me about wanting to keep it secret from myself because I really think that one of these ink vent sets can go three ways and at least it can go a uh, split, you know, for two people for sure. And so it, because of I'm someone who has so much ink, uh, that kind of got to weighing on me. So I've, I've got it all packed up and we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, check your email, uh, pen friend uh, <laughs> B, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> anyway, um, because I'm excited about that and knowing that I'm going to find someone that would like that. Um, you know, the, hello, Toby, he's down there rolling around on my foot. He's doing really good. Oh my, okay, whoops. <laughs> he's very strong too. Okay, this is this is what we do when we do movies. We have to be careful. He's going to have this upside down. Um, okay, talk about unfocused. <laughs> At least this is toward the end. So I, I feel like I haven't even begun to see what other people's videos were. I watched a few. I was very, very busy, especially right at the end because we were getting ready to have our little Christmas party here. And he's biting my pant leg. Toby, careful. I wish he'd get up here and be in the movie, but... <laughs> It's real sunny outside, and, and uh, I didn't, I'm surprised he came in because he usually spends the day in the backyard there. He's walking toward the door. He probably was trying to tell me he wants to go out. <clears throat> but anyway, it has been quite busy here, and I'm just really, really pleased because, you know, I had that year where I didn't do so good, but I finished my spread. I finished the bullet journal. I mean, uh, ink journal. And I enjoyed it very, very much. Um, and I will keep the four mil of each one so that I can, well, um, throughout the year, I may think of pens that I want to try some of this in. Um, but gosh, there were only a few that didn't have shimmer. Let me see. There was one, two, three, four, okay, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there was nine that didn't have shimmer in them. So you had to kind of love shimmer inks. And I do. I love how they look on the page. I love the splattering, the ink splatters, and the beautiful art that I see on Instagram. But I don't always get along very good with shimmer inks unless I can see the, sh the shimmer in every word. And I'm kind of funny about that. Uh, but I can see where if I was doing more mixed media like I used to, I would really enjoy them. And um, if I love the base color, then there's not much to gripe about anyway. So I guess, you know, they're really, it's really pretty. But um, 
I think I'm going to end up saying what I said last year, which is I, I'm not going to do this next year. Next year, I'm going to do differently. I'll make my own ink vent out of samples that I either have yet to try or I have under tried, you know. But it's something about the collective, you know, everybody going on and, and uh, doing this at the same time. There is something very... Uh, community about that and so even though I say that I guarantee you when fall comes or as the end of summer I'll be probably trying to save the money to make sure just in case I decide for 2024 that I can't live without one so um hold on just a second <laughs> okay that was Toby he wanted to go outside he came in just to check on us I guess and see what we were doing and roll around on my foot and grab my pant leg a little bit but he's doing really really good in fact out of the whole uh, I think since the 15th of December he's only had one night where he spent the night outside and I kept getting up to check for him on the back rail but he didn't come until about four o'clock in the morning he came and it wasn't cold that was the whole thing there were a bunch of parties Christmas Eve and it was warm and he stayed out <laughs> I haven't only knows how many people up and down the street feed him, but anyway, he, you know, he came at 4 a.m. And just little by little, I'm trying to keep him in longer and more, um, you know, especially for the nighttime. But he's two and a half, possibly three, and he's too used to being outside. So I had a couple of his little, these aren't my favorite pictures, but oh, well, this is, this one I liked. He was, he was laying on the couch. So, uh so out of it so uh what do you call it um relaxed but the thing is we had a little bit of a honeymoon period where they were all behaving really good and now we're having a little bit of a territorial shift you know where the three cats um are trying to they're, they're trying to assert themselves i think we haven't had fights we've just had a lot of uh uh it's like if the something goes wrong the two that are a princess and Toby will run to the to a door and just say well okay then I'm going outside and that's you know they've got to get used to it because there are going to be times when it's freezing and they can't go out or it's uh, a hurricane or something like that but that's you know I'm kind of used to it because with Willie princess and Coco and before that with with uh, Marble and and Willie and princess you know you have your little group and they have to adjust to each other and it's going to take a while but at least we're not seeing violence or anything like that it's just more of a I can almost tell what they're thinking because I know each one of them pretty well and uh, it makes me feel a little bit bad because I'm trying so hard to give them all equal love and attention and everything and we're right here most of the time so that's possible anyway I was going to explain you know what was worrying me and, and I might as well just say it because I, I would like to ask for prayers for my mom because she fell and she broke her arm and so anybody who is a praying sort please keep her in your prayers because she's going to have to um, get back to being able to use a walker in order to go back to her assisted living so she's in the hospital right now we're waiting to hear from the ortho doctors on whether or not she'll have to have a surgery so I don't want to you know be blabbing all her business but I, I would like to have um, anybody who's you know who's a prayer type person keep her, uh, my mom Gloria in your prayers because I think that it helps and I think that I mean she's really in good spirits and everything it's just that it could be a, a kind of a long six to eight week road I've been talking to caregivers up there and to the um, hospital administrator person and so forth today and um, you know looking ahead toward where she'll do her rehab and stuff like that so I just couldn't deal with the actual giveaway and uh, you know I have thoughts about that if I do this again next year if I do the ink vent um, I think probably I'd have to revert to how I did it before where I just divided it right from the start because you know it's too much it's too much to uh uh you don't need quite as much ink uh, of each color to do a little ink vent like that. But the bottles are cute and it is the right amount for someone who's not already an ink horse, you know, or <laughs> whatever <laughs> you want to call it. Uh, so, but I've had a lot of thoughts about that, about how uh, that one year when I divided it out from the start and then I had the giveaway and sent one to Brazil and one to Denmark, that was pretty cool. 
And I had a lot of energy, a lot of time. I think I had more time at that time too, so. Anyway, so what is next for me? Let's see, I gotta clean a bunch of pens. I ended up with like 18 or 19 full from the ink vent and a couple of others from my birthday pens. And I need to evaluate each pen separately and see because most of the shimmer ones, I only put just a little in the cartridge converter. And um, you know, I'll either write them dry or if they're completely not <laughs> functioning well, they're gonna be cleaned out right away. Uh, so I'll be doing that, but I wanted to have kind of a, a fresh new set of eight pens for January. And I don't mean new, like new pens. I mean uh, different ones to write with. Like, you know, going back into my the Banu pens and finding a different color, uh, you know, to put in that new Euphoria, uh, new to me Euphoria, and things like that. So this is one, this is the week I like the best of uh, every month is trying to go ahead and pre-decide what I'm going to do for pens and inks and then uh you know sharing that with you my Chris's ink pens is always a lot of fun and hopefully I can stay on track with that I, I think so I think that we will have some support in uh you know that placement for mom and everything and and I mean you never know sometimes a miracle can happen and and after they do a full evaluation, maybe they'll determine she can use a walker. I don't know, but it sounds unlikely because she won't be able to put pressure with her right arm, unfortunately, and that's her right arm. So, um, oh. it's falls are really, really rough on anybody of any age, but especially, you know, you know, when getting older and falling and then having a break or fracture of any bone is very scary. So, okay. I didn't mean to go <laughs> ramble too much. I was trying to think what else I needed to say. I wanted to say, um, oh, I'm really enjoying the the Van Diemen's Maryland ink. That is so fantastic. It's almost I've almost used a converter full of it already, and I do have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six letters to write, five pen pals, and one um, uh, family member to write to, and so um, I'm going to be busy with writing letters. And I've completed the other challenge, uh, the Open a Door to 2024. That was wonderful, too. And in fact, I'm looking forward to looking back over what I wrote because each day was pretty full. And I think a lot of times uh, when you go back and read what you wrote, that's when the insights really pop. Um, and also I can look at those prompts again because more than one thing comes up from a single prompt a lot prompt a lot of times so i want to wish everybody a wonderful happy new year it's coming right up here we are on the 27th i just can't believe it and uh, i'd love to meet in the comments and discuss these inks more or any inks because to me the next phase of this is seeing how some of these compare to what i already have which always keeps me from purchasing bottles of ink that I don't need and, and that kind of thing. Um, and so the one I was really gushing over was Tranquility, which doesn't surprise me. It's such a happy purple color. Um, and it happens to have shimmer too, or chameleon in it. So looking at this chart, it just, uh, yeah, there's a lot of really pretty ones. I don't have any complaints about it. I just, um, I think shimmer is a special <laughs> kind of a special project so I'm going to get right on that pen cleaning this afternoon I got to wash all the dishes because I cooked a chicken this morning and um, then I'll have plenty of room to lay out all my cleaning supplies and stuff so good luck to you if you're also cleaning pens and I will see you on the next video which probably will be Chris's inked pens um, I'm going to start with eight and see how it goes I guess I think, I'm thinking one of them is going to be that Hong Dian, the, um, I'm going to keep this pen going. I have uh, Sailor 50 States Texas right now, but I've almost finished the fill. So I think I'll probably, this is my birthday pen, and I think I'll probably choose another color. And that probably my number one for uh, January. And then I need to go back through because there are more pens that I haven't even tried yet that came in a box of 30 that was donated to the channel and uh, I think there's at least a sailor in there I wanted to try and uh, 
and there's some new to me all stars there's two of them so we'll be looking at color and ink and and which pens and everything so i will see you on the next video and um uh, Thank you for putting up with this very choppy video, but I wanted to get the last five days included here in the little series. So I will see you next time. Bye for now.